Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm sorry, I am sweaty. I started out before the sun came up this morning. We were here at 6, well, actually 545 this morning with a cup of coffee and getting to work. And we're doing some stuff here. We're getting the side and put up on this house today and everything else and having a great time here. I got jet putting in tile and I realized I'm short on tile and got to run all the way to Richmond to get some more. I got the guys putting up side and my wife is sanding some doors. I've been working on siding up here and the deck and everything else. We're coming together here. But that's not why you're here. You're here because the title. The Dallas Cowboys. Here's, boom, I, I just had an epiphany. Epiphany, I think it's epiphany. Epiphany, when you heard Mike McCarthy talk about wanting to run the ball more, right? I talked about yesterday how Micah Parsons is becoming the vocal guy like Richard Sherman was for Seattle. Here's the thing that's really kind of crazy, okay? I, whenever before, now I guess maybe it won't be so bad now because Russell Wilson had such a bad year, but when I used to talk about Dak Prescott statistics versus Russell Wilson, people would go crazy and say, how dare you talk about Dak Prescott and Russell Wilson? That, that, he's a Super Bowl champion. He's a Super Bowl champion. Okay. But here's the thing. I say he had a dominating defense, right? He had beast mode who had over 1,300 yards. They had a formula that worked. Because here's how, how crazy it is for all those that say, well, Russell Wilson is a Super Bowl champion. You can't talk about garbage-ass Dak Prescott. Here's what's crazy. The Super Bowl winning Seattle Seahawks were 31st in passing attempts. 31st. Did your mind just blow up? Russell Wilson only had 22 touchdown passes. They were number one at scoring defense. Number one. Damn, baby, you're looking good. Number one at yardage. And number one at taking the football away. Here's the other part on here. And this is why Mike McCarthy is saying, I want to run the damn ball. They were fourth in the amount of rushing attempts. So here you go. When they passed, they were effective. They had a defense that shut people down. Remember what they did to Peyton Manning in the Super Bowl? That was one Super Bowl game that I was glad that I was actually in the NFL PA watching the game instead of going over to the Meadowlands in the cold. Because, you know, some of those people didn't get out of that stadium until 3 a.m. and it was cold. And it was a snowstorm that next day. Yeah. Drove home in the snow. And that game was ass-ass because they literally beat the crap out of Peyton Manning. And that's where we got the famous Dan Quinn interview that I always love to, to quote when he says, we're fast and we're physical. When you have a dominating defense, I know chicks dig the deep ball. Pause. Chicks dig the deep ball. But as they say, defenses win championships. That's the truth. And the Cowboys have kind of modeled this team and where they're going in that direction. You can't say the defense is not the Legion of Boom too, Or... The Legion of Doom, as in Doomsday and Seattle Seahawks Legion of Boom, hybrid that's evolved and gone to another level. We've already been number one at taking the football away two years in a row because of the way they go after people. Number one, two years in a row. And now they're doing things to get better at stopping the run. So now... You start looking at this and saying, you got playmakers, much like we did back in the 90s with Michael Irvin and Alvin Harper and Jay Novacek and Emmett Smith. We don't have Emmett Smith on the roster, although we have a very dynamic Tony Pollard. So when you start looking at how the team is being constructed right now, you have to start feeling like this is a great model as opposed to what we've been doing throughout the Jason Garrett era, which is 
We're just trying to score more points than them. We know our defense is ass-ass. And, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. No. Now, they're looking at the situation and saying, we're going to stop the other guys and take the football away. We're going to knock their block off. We're going to tell them that we knocked their block off. And then we're going to get them up. And we're going to do it again. They're going to be aggressive, fast, physical. Triangle. You mean the square? Okay. I'm sorry. So just, just was like looking for the, the frame of square. Okay. But they're going to be fast. They're going to be physical. They're going to be going after people. They're going to be very, very aggressive. And they're going to do more ball control. They're going to want to go ahead and slow down the game so they can run the clock. They don't want to get into shootouts because we've been in here where we've done shootouts where, you know, we're scoring 40 plus points and we're losing because the defense ain't stopping nobody. We are looking and saying we're going to be efficient. We're going to score. We're going to eat up the clock. And we're going to keep doing that every single time. And our defense is going to give us extra opportunities to score. And by doing this, the less times you go to the well, the less times you go to the well, the better. Because now you're not risking the biscuit. And herein lies part of the problem with Kellen Moore is we risk the biscuit with some whack-ass play calling with guys who could not get separation and sometimes ran lazy routes. Now, I know that Dak Prescott haters out there are going to say, see, he was blaming everybody. Oh, I'm not saying Dak Prescott don't make mistakes. I don't ever say that. But when you have these multiple route options and stuff, and you have guys that aren't premier players sometimes, there's miscommunication. And if the quarterback is reading one thing and this guy is reading another, then it ends up being a bad play. So that's what we got this morning. The Dallas Cowboys are coming after your ass. And the offense is going to be ball control. That's what I see. Now, we can revisit this during the season. You need something, baby? I need the machine that goes with this. Do you know where it is? That is, uh, it's, I have a, it's upstairs. I don't have the sanding head on it. I have the cutting head on it. Okay, I was using it up on the roof where I was cutting the trim. The roof on the sucker. Tear the roof off the sucker. Okay. I right. speaking of that, I right. see. Yeah, you know, everybody. I don't know where this is. I don't know where that is. Okay. I right. I got to get the work and stuff done. But I tell you, I tell you what. If you want to see what we're doing here at the Red Brick House, and there's a buzz all over town, all over town, everybody, and then people stopping down the street and saying, man, I love what you're doing there and stuff. People ask, what you going to do with the place? Is it going to be a museum? I want to, yeah, I, I got one of the fans, one of you fans out there said, are you going to have an open house? Because I'd love to come to it. And yes, when we get done, we're going to have my man, Jet. He's got a black and white smoker. It's like 250 gallons. Okay. Going to get pulled pork brisket and everything else we're gonna smoke it we're gonna have an open house so people can see the wonderful work that we've done in here and i say we because like i always say without you guys without you and you and you and you and you and you oh just trying to take the whole thing off and without you it does not work hope you guys have a great weekend it's getting hot and be careful out there don't blow your hands off okay don't do it don't do it jpp peace